Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, for this project today, I want to show you how to make this Star So Sweet bracelet. And as you can see, it's got little kind of tiny star shapes in it with crystals. It wears very beautifully, it's very smooth on your arm, it sparkles. It's just a really pretty bracelet. I hope you like this bracelet because this is actually one of my favorite bracelets I've, I've ever made. And I just got some labels printed up and on the labels, this will be what's on my labels. The picture of this for all my earring packages and bracelet packages. So for today's project, you're going to need um, a toggle of your choice. I'm using a fair medium sized one. You're going to need two wire protectors or wire guardians, whatever you call them. You're going to need two four millimeter jump rings and these are open jump rings. You're going to need some 15 O seed beads, some 11 O seed beads, some size three millimeter crystal rounds, some four millimeter crystal rounds and some super duo beads. You're going to need a thread snipper, so a pair of scissors or a thread snipper. You're going to need round nose and needle nose pliers to open your jump rings and some six pound fire line. And you're going to need a size 10 beading needle. So I'll let you gather all your materials if you want to make this bracelet along with me and I'll see you back here in a couple of seconds. Okay, now to get started with the bracelet, the first thing we're going to do um, is string both our needles onto about a yard, two yards of fire line, whatever you're comfortable with. And all depending on the size of your bracelet, you may need to add thread or you may have too much. First thing we're going to do is on one needle we're going to pick up the wire protector, one wire protector, put that needle down and go through the other side of your wire protector with the same needle, like so. So go down both sides and give it a pull. and make sure the thread is caught in that groove. Now you're going to put both your needles together and we're going to get this wire protector centered on our fire line. And it just took off on me. So there we go. We have it nice and centered in the middle. Now you're going to take both of your needles. You're going to pick up two 11 seed beads on both needles. And on one needle, you're going to pick up a Super Duo. And with the other needle, you're going to go through the second hole of the Super Duo, like so. And you're going to pull that down to meet your wire protector. And you should have this. Now take one needle, and careful which hole you're coming out of. So this is the needle, oopsies, I pulled that too much. So now it's not going to be even again. One sec. You gotta be careful because you'll pull this out of the center if you pull your thread too tight. All right, I'm coming out of this hole here. So what I'm going to do with this needle that's in my right hand is I'm gonna go right across into the next hole and I'm gonna just reinforce this wire protector. So I'm going up through the Super Duo, the 211s, and in one side of the wire protector, and I'm going to pull my thread through. Not too tight because it'll pull it out of the middle. And then I'm going to go back down the other side, and you should end right where you started, where your thread was originally coming out of, like so. And give it a pull and make sure your thread is caught, and it is. Now you're going to do the same thing with the other needle and this will be good and reinforced. 
you're going to go across into the next hole, up through the Super Dual, the 211s, and into one side of your wire protector. And you're going to go back down the other side into wire protector, the 211Os, and the Super Dual. And again, making sure your thread's nice and caught in there. There we go. So that's the start of your where your toggle will go. Now, we're going to do the center part of this bracelet here. So this is the part we're going to do first. It's going to seem like it's complicated, but believe me, it's not. You'll see. So, to get started now at the center, you're going to pick up one 11 0 on each needle. One 11 0. One Super Dual. And with the other needle, you're going to go through the second hole like you did in the beginning and pull that down. And just let it rest. So you'll have this. Now, you're going to pick up on each needle, you're going to pick up one 11 0, one 3 millimeter crystal, sorry, one 11 0, one super duo, one 3 millimeter crystal, one super duo, and one 11 0. So this is what you should have. An 11 a Super Duo, a Crystal, a Super Duo, an 11 on your needle. Let them fall. And you're going to do the same thing for this needle. One 11 one Super Duo, one 3 millimeter Crystal, and one Super Duo, and an 11 and you're going to let those fall. And you should have this. And strong on. So on this needle here, my right hand, because I'm right handed, if you're left handed, you would pick up your left handed needle. You're going to pick up one 11 or sorry, one Super Duo, one 11 and one super dual. On your other needle, which is my left needle, you've got this on your needle. You're going to go through the first super duo you strung on, only the one, pick up an 11 0 with that same needle, and then go through the second super duo you strung on. Like, like so. And then pull it down and it will bring your bracelet together. You don't need to pull too tight because we need a little bit of slack in this bracelet. And that's what you will have. Okay? Now for whichever needle you want, no right, no left, don't matter, pick up one eleven o. One Super Duo, one 3 millimeter Crystal, one Super Duo, and one eleven o. Let them fall. And then again with the next needle, you're going to do the same thing. Pick up an eleven o, a Super Duo, a 3 millimeter Crystal, another Super Duo, and an eleven o. That's what you will have on your needle. And let it fall. Now you're going to pick up a Super Duo, an 11 0, another Super Duo. You're going to take the other needle and put it through the very first. So my threads here, you're going to put it through the very first Super Duo. 
and you're going to pick up an 11 0 on that same needle and then you're going to put it through the other super dual the last one you strung on and it can be a little bit tricky sometimes these holes the glaze that's in these super duels which I'll just get another one because I'm not going to fight with that one right now and you're going to go through that second hole like this so this is all that you're going to do for the center of the bracelet to the length that you need is string on this repeat this exact same pattern right to the end okay I could show you one more time. So this is where you're kind of getting your star shapes with these six beads here. These six beads will give you kind of a little bit of a star shaped. So one more time, you're going to pick up an 11-0, a super duo, a three millimeter crystal, another super duo, and an 11-0. And you're just going to let that fall. Switch sides here, pick up an 11, a super duo, and I'm checking the holes, a 3 millimeter crystal, a super duo, and another 11 ohm. And just let these fall. Then you're going to take whatever needles in your hand, pick up a super duo, an 11 ohm, and another super duo. The other needle you're going to come through the very first super duel you put on and pull the needle all the way through pick up an 11-0 and go through your last super duel that you strung on like so and then just let these all fall to the bottom and that's it that's a constant repetitive pattern right to the length of your bracelet. Now keep in mind that you have an, a toggle clasp and most of the time toggle clasps are at a good inch to everybody's bracelet. So keep that in mind when you're making the, the size of your bracelet that you don't um, make it too big and forget about your one inch in here. So I would say, let me just measure this to be exact. From the beginning of your wire protector it is one and one and three-eighths of an inch from here to here. So where your findings are it's one and three-eighths inch using this size toggle. So I'm going to keep that in mind. I'm just going to measure actually this bracelet or take another bracelet that's got a toggle clasp on it. And I'm just going to measure the length of mine as I go. And as you're going don't pull these extremely tight. Please leave a little bit of slack in your bracelet. You, you need that little bit of slack. All right, and I will see you back here when you get the length of your bracelet done and we'll go through the process of the second half of your wire protector sewed on. See you back here when you're done. Okay, once you've completed the length of your bracelet, we're gonna sew the other part of the wire protector on on this end. So with one of your needles, doesn't matter which needle, you're going to pick up two 11 0 seed beads. Then you're going to pick up the other wire protector going through one hole of it like so. Pull your thread through and then go down through the other side of the wire protector. Like so. And pull. Making sure you catch your thread in that little groove right there. And pick up two more 11 0 seed beads. And you're exiting here. 
this is where your thread exited you're going to go down this one and only through the super dual and not a, not any of those seat beads all right now don't pull your bracelet tight because if you pull this tight this is what you're going to do to it you're going to warp it and you can't have this warped so just lay it out flat like this and keep pushing it I mean keeping your thread nice and snuggy kind of but not super tight now where you've exited in this super duo with this needle the same needle that you strung all this on go across into the hole and reinforce your wire protector so you're going to go through the super duo the two 11 O's and one side of your wire protector and you're going to pull that thread through tightening it up a wee bit not too much and then you're going to go back down the other side through the one half there two 11 O's and your super duo and pull your thread and lay it out flat and push it making sure your thread did not get super tight on you so sit this needle that you were just working with aside now pick the other needle up and it's exiting at the top you got one exiting at the bottom one exiting at the top both in the same super dual so you're going to put your needle through the two 11 O's and the wire protector pull it through don't pull it super tight go back down through your wire protector your two 11 O's and exit through your super dual so you need both needles exiting out of one hole each of your super dual and pulling it and if you pull it too tight, all you have to do is lay it on your, your board or your table and just flatten it all out, making sure it's a little bit loose. Okay? Now, take your needle that you're still working with and go through the 11 -0 that's right below where you're exiting. Go through the 11 -0 and the one super dual. So you're going to exit through your holes like that. And do the same with the other needle. It's exiting out of the super dual. Oops, I snagged my thread here. I know it's confusing working with two needles, but better to do it with two than one. All right. Oopsies. I have come. All right. I'm just going to go this way. There we go. Now, with your other needle, hope you can see this. You're exiting out of the super duo here go through the 11 -0 and the super dual and not through any of those other beads and pull now this is where you're going to get the tension of your bracelet so if you pull this tight it's going to be so warped it's going to be ugly so don't pull it tight just keep laying it out flat set all your beads straight like that keep making sure it doesn't warp on you all right, now for the tricky part. So we have one needle on this side and we want one needle on this side. Okay. So both your needles are exiting out of the second super duo from your wire protector. Both exiting there. On both needles, you're going to pick up a 15 on both needles and you can let those just fall 
Then on one needle you're going to pick up a four millimeter, pull your needle through that four millimeter, and put your other needle through the same way in that four millimeter and pull it through. Then you're going to pick up a 15 again on each of your needles, like so, and you're going to let those fall. Now what you're going to do is make sure for sure your needles stay this one is this one and this one is this one. So this is right, this is left. Do not cross them anyway. Take your right needle and skip all of these beads inside. Kind of pull this open and go across into the hole of the Super Duo here. Go through the 11 0 and go through that Super Duel on the right side. Take your thread on your other needle and do the same thing. Go through the hole on the left side, the 11 0, and through that Super Duel. So both needles. Each one are coming out of a different hole on the, the next group of two do super duos here. And then we'll pull this through very carefully. I'll probably have a hundred knots. Because I'm famous for knots. And I can already see something happening here, so good lord. <laughs> All right. I think I might get it. There's a big mess of threads. We don't want that. Okay. I think I have a massive amount of mess here. sure if this is going to work, but let me just pull this through and see. Of course it's not. It's nagged all these threads on the way. Okay. Hopefully that's one end done. And there's the other. So you're going to pull that through and push your crystal down in the middle like that. And that's what you should get. So again, I'm going to make sure my needles stay one on the left and the one on the right. I'm making sure my bracelet does not warp. Now, right needle, pick up a 15 and do it with one needle at a time. I'm just, two needles will just cause your thread to get all messed up like that. And you're going to pick up your four millimeter and a 15 on your needle. You're exiting on the right side of this super dual, so you're going to exit on the right side of the next group of two. So open your center like so and go through the super dual, the 11 0 catch the 11 0 and the super dual and I caught the 11 0 on that side just go through the super dual and pull that through and kind of open up your hole here there you go now put that needle aside so we don't get a massive mess again and you're going to pick up a 15 on the left side now. You're going to put your needle through that four millimeter, pull it through, hold your work down, pick up another 15, and exit through the left side now of your Super Duel 11 0 and a Super Duel, and pull that through. And 
And there you go. That needs to fall down in there. And this is what it should look like. Now you can pull it so it's you got no thread showing. Just pull it so it's you know, like that. So this is what you're going to do to embellish the, the middle of this whole entire bracelet. You're going to follow these same two steps, same step all the way through. Making sure, keep in mind, the right side is the right side, the left side is the left side. If you cross them somehow, I'm not sure what's going to happen to your bracelet, but I'm pretty sure you're going to see something's wrong with it. Um, you probably crossed your needles. So I'll show you one more time. Here's my right needle and I'm working from the right side of my Super Duel. I'll pick up a 15, a 4 millimeter crystal, and another 15 on my needle. Exiting out of the right side, push this open, and you're going to exit through the bottom of this Super Duo, through that 11 -0 that's between the two of them and exit out of the right side of that second super duel in these two groups too. So pull that through and nice and gentle. Okay, that should lay nice and flat. Pick up another 15 in your other needle. Ouch. Go into the 4 millimeter crystal the same way and pull it through. And make sure your 15s are sitting inside the centers here and not on the outside of your Super Duel. And pick up another 15 and get this one out of the way. There we go. Go through the bottom of the left side of your Super Duel because I'm using the left side of needle through the 11 0 and through the bottom of the second super duel and then pull that through so there you go and sometimes you have to kind of give your 50 nose a little push back into place there This is, there we go. And it's just a little bit of playing with it. And that's what you've got. So continue this all the way down. And I'll see you back here and show you how to do the outside of your bracelet like that. Okay. Now that you've completed all your stones in the center, it should look like this and not pulled tight and warped. Lay it flat and give it a press. You should be exiting out of the last Super Duel just before your wire protector here. And on one needle, doesn't matter which side you work off of, you're going to pick up a 15, two 11s and a 15. You're going to have this on your needle. You're coming out of your Super Duo here, right here, and you're just going to work down this side. So you're going to go into the first Super Duo here, And then you're going to pick up, you're done here, then you're going to pick up three 11 O's on your needle and you're going to go right across into the next Super Duo right beside it so it looks like that. Then you're going to take your four millimeters again, you're going to pick up a 15, 
another four millimeter and a 15 and you're going to go across into the next group of two super duels and you're going to pull like so now if you're one of these people that like to work both rows at the same time go for it it might be better and keep your bracelet even so the other needle pick up a 15 two 11 O's and a 15 your threads coming out of the super duo here you're just gonna go into the super duo right below it. again you're gonna pick up three 11 O's you're gonna go across into the next super duo on the outside pick up a 15 Sorry. Okay, so you can continue doing the embellishing on the outside of your bracelet with, like I said before, where there's your crystals is on each end should be three 11 O's. Where there's no crystals and you got your two stacked super duels here is where you're going to put new crystals. So you can kind of see that they're staggered. So I'll leave this for you to finish doing the embellishing on the outside of your bracelet and I will come back and show you how to finish off the ends with your toggle and then you'll have yourself a beautiful star bracelet. Okay, now that you've gotten to the end of your bracelet with your embellishment on the outside, you're going to do the same thing here on this end as you've done on this end. So you're going to pick up a 15, two 11 O's, and a 15 on your needle. And you're going to go down this super duo in a downward position. So you're going to move those and you're going to go down. And you could take a few beads. it's really hard to get through that super duel so pull your thread through and finish off your bracelet in the same manner as this side and you're going to do the same thing here I need a couple of more of a nose alright now I need this needle and I'm going to pick up a 15, two 11 O's, and a 15. And again, exiting at the top of the last super duo you went out, you're going to go down through down through this super duo this way. So you're going back towards your beadwork. And pull. Like so. Okay. Oopsies, somehow I didn't. Oh, I dropped my 15. Oh. So I'm going back out. Hopefully I don't have to pull my needle off. Good show. Dropped my 15. So go back through those two beads because it's the only two you're going to get through. Okay, this is going to get me have a care. Come on. There we go. Alright, so that is finished off in the embellishing. Is that not a beautiful bracelet? And it just sparkles. You can wear it either way because there's no right side and there's no wrong side. It's perfect all the way. 
Now we're going to tie off some half hitch knots. So I'm just going to weave my needle down into this super duo here that I'm right in the thread path with. Try not to pull your thread too, too tight. And then I'm going to go into the super duo and to the crystal. I'm just going to get a ways from where I did all this reinforcing here because your beads are going to be tight now. So now I'll go up into this super duo, pulling a little taunt, and I'm going to tie a couple of half hitch knots. And I always go twice around the loop and through the two, three, three eleven o's. Again, another half hitch knot, pulling it tight, and through there. Don't know if I'll get my needle down through here again, but we'll certainly give it a try, and I did. It is tighter. And I'm going to maybe tie one more half hitch knot and I'm right there so I'll pull it through the super duo. Pulling it, dropping it once, twice, and pull it tight. And now I'm just going to weave my needle through some beads. going to burn one end of this off with my trusty old zapper. And just and I think I can kind of still see where my thread came out. And I'll just burn that off. There we go. Perfect. Love this tool my husband bought me. I just love it. All right, so we're done with one needle. Park that over there. And you're just going to do the same thing over here. You're going to do some half hitch knots, run your needle through some beads. I'm going to take it all the way down here just so I can tie a couple of half hitch knots on the outer side, outer beads. And I'm coming out of a super duo, so I'm going to tie some right here. One, twice wrap and pull. And ring my needle through those three end beads. Wrap my needle around and Two more. And bringing it up through the end bead here, down through this side, whoops, my thread wrapped around, and pull it tight. And then you're going to, I'm going to tie one half hitch knot there and one wrap. And we are good to go. And then I'm just going to run my needle through some beads here. I never like to cut the thread off anywhere near any of my knots. Okay, so a trusty old zapper, thread zapper, handy dandy tool, and burn. Alright, so there is your completed bracelet. And if you did not pull this bracelet tight like I told you, it would not be warped. It shouldn't be warped. It should be flat. Alright, now we're going to put um, our toggle clasp on. So you're going to get your two jump rings. 
Now the reason we didn't sew our toggle clasp in is because if we would have sewed it in on this wire protector, your clasp would have sat like this. And you can't have it sitting like that on your wrist. So we'll use a jump ring in here and our clasp will be sitting this way flat like it should be. So give me my pliers. We're going to open our jump rings. You're going to put one part of your clasp on the jump ring and in one part of your wire protector in the next and then you're going to close this up good and tight and there's you will, your clasp will sit flat now if you put it on the other way and sewed it in with the wire protector it definitely was a mess so we'll open this up put the other piece of your toggle and the wire protector in that one and we'll close this jump ring up good and tight there we go and there you have it and close up your bracelet it's such a pretty bracelet oops and I made myself all oh, this isn't for me a purple bracelet so there we have the two star so sweet bracelets I hope you enjoyed my tutorial friend me on or like me on Facebook and subscribe for upcoming videos and I'll see you soon on the next video have a good week bye